Listen, everybody, to the words I have to say. Better get ready, because the Lord is coming one day. This is Daniel White the Third with the Second Coming Watch update. This is update number 246. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy-related headlines, which point towards the Second Coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. First up today, according to the American Center for Law and Justice, the Iranian lawyer who successfully represented Christian Pastor Youssef Nadakhani in court, uh, leading to his eventual release and acquittal of apostasy, has been detained and ordered to serve a lengthy prison sentence in one of Iran's most dangerous prisons. Muhammad Ali Dadka was sentenced to serve nine years in prison and barred for ten years from practicing or teaching law. He is currently incarcerated in Ward 350 of Iran's notorious Evan Prison. Second, today, according to the Times of Israel, a group of 25 non-Jewish parliamentarians from 17 countries signed a resolution justifying a potential Israeli strike on Iran's nuclear facilities, saying such a move would be legal under international law and might be needed to ensure the survival of Israel. The lawmakers, including U.S. congressmen and one Latin American minister, considered calling on their governments to cut diplomatic ties with Iran altogether. But the final resolution did not include such a clause. The declaration states that Iran, with its stated goal of destroying Israel, constitutes a clear and present danger to Israel's existence. Third, today, according to Form 18 News Service, 11 members of a Baptist church in the northern city of Dashaguz, Turkmenistan, were fined for participating in an unregistered religious community. The fines bring to more than 20 the number of Protestants known to have been fined since the summer amid an upsurge in raids. Before being fined, the Christians were put on trial and questioned over why they had left Islam and where they had obtained Bibles and other Christian books. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 12.10, Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses, For Christ's sake, for when I am weak, then am I strong. You can read these stories in more detail and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. Dear friend, if you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, may I encourage you to get to know Him today. To do so, please understand that you are a sinner, just as I am, and that you have broken God's laws. However, in spite of your sins, God still loves you and he does not want you to be separated from him forever in a place called hell. Romans 5.8 tells us that God 
commendeth his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Because Jesus Christ died for our sins, all we have to do is believe in him and receive his free gift of salvation. If you do so, you will not have to suffer eternal punishment in hell, but you will live eternally in heaven with God. If you are willing to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ for your salvation right now, please pray with me this simple prayer. Holy Father God, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done some bad things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today and forever. Amen. Dear friend, if you just trusted Jesus Christ as your Savior and you prayed that prayer and you meant it from your heart, believing in your heart that Jesus Christ died for you, was buried and rose again, I declare to you that based upon the word of God you are now saved and you're on your way to heaven. Welcome to the family of God and congratulations for receiving the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. You have done the most important thing in life. Now, for more information to help you grow in your newfound faith in Christ, go to gospellightsociety.com and read what to do after you enter through the door. Jesus Christ said in John 10, 9, For I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. Now in closing, remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew twenty-four forty-two: Watch therefore, for ye know not to what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew twenty-four forty-four says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Now let us join in the prayer now let us join in the prayer of John the Revelator when he prayed. Even so come, Lord Jesus. And God bless you. You got to get your business straight.